All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. And yes, I am not dead. I was just very sick for the last couple of days. Uh, but Corona didn't kill me uh, and I'm ready to make some more reviews. So I'm not all better, uh, but that doesn't matter. Hit that like, hit that subscribe and let's get into this one. So today we are talking about ANFS, so also known as Autonomous Network Cross-Domain Flexible Sharded System. So that is a mouthful, uh, but basically if you enter this website, it's looking phenomenal. This is basically one of the best websites that I've seen so far as it looks very futuristic and just very HD and awesome. So ANFS, the centralized infrastructure also known as the next generation smart chain, cross chain and high TPS capabilities with a brand new mining consilis algorithm so we're basically gonna go uh, dissect everything in um it's if you want to know everything about them i would suggest to do your own research about them as there's so much and it's pretty difficult to get into this one as this is just not your average meme token this is actually way more than just a token they're actually doing it different and we're basically gonna try to discuss everything that they have to offer as this one is very very difficult so First of all, an efficient and secure uh, consensus mechanism is crucial for the whole blockchain system. So basically they have a white paper which they are leading you towards. Uh, and basically in the white paper, there's a lot of stuff to actually discuss about. Uh, so you're mainly gonna see me read everything because this is very, very difficult. Uh, I did my research about this and it is very, very useful if you get to know this, but how and uh, ANFS works basically it's an autonomous network uh, as we said and it's a blockchain network is assured the N uh, ANFS helps to anticipate and curb certain attacks in the blockchain space which is very useful against hackers the ANFS uh, puts into consideration to the throughout this capability and security energy consumption and finality of the blockchain network the native cryptocurrency for ANFS is called AFS. New AFS are created within 30 seconds. The time intervals will decrease as wall chain develop. Each time when a validator forces a new block, once the maximum supply is reached, new AFS will no longer be created. So that is pretty difficult. Uh, we're gonna go dissect everything about them. A high performance blockchain consists, but first we're going back to the website. So they actually have a video for you guys. So that will actually say a little bit. I do not know how to turn as this video down. So bear with me guys. If you cannot hear me, today, we're just gonna go talk the only into this thing and basically that we can see is it's going to be really, really big. This revolution has gained widespread attention since its creation. Oh, but I'm there sorry, is one big problem. In promoting more applications of metaverse interaction to the ground, the shortcomings of conventional blockchain technology are becoming increasingly apparent in terms of operational efficiency and scalability. Optimization of consensus algorithms will become an important direction of concern when it comes to improving metaverse-based applications. Introducing ANFS Autonomous Network Cross Domain Flexible Sharded System is a pretty cool video and its original cryptocurrency AFS powered by the newly innovated HPOS Hybrid Proof of Sequence Consensus Mechanism HPOS relies on a sharding system where network transactions are randomly assigned to multiple shards on which each shard may be verified by computing any fragment of the transaction sequence from within the shard. I hope by I don't implementing the MPOS mechanism in the HPOS framework, each SG shard sequence generation nodes and every 10 SV shard sequence verification nodes node will have their nodes randomly assigned to one or more shards. So they These have a randomized nodes, which means that hackers cannot get into their vault, which is very, very awesome. Within the same shard. Based on this groundbreaking algorithm, a max supply of 1 billion AFS tokens will be available for mining. An initial, awesome 5 well. An initial 5% will be available, will be available for pre sale, pre with the remaining only available as block rewards to ANFS network validators. New EFS tokens are created every 30 seconds on Bankia Network when a validator forges a new block. With this complete set of hardware implementations, ANFS will safeguard future extensions with the metaverse. 
The best way to predict the future is to create it. All right, that was awesome. And this is why ANFS is going to be huge for the future. So let's move on. Number two, what can ANFS do? Development of DApp at lower costs, which is also nice. Lower transfer fees, which everyone likes. There's not a single person that doesn't want lower transfer fees, faster transfer speed, better user experience, and more comprehensive ecosystems. So that is already some big plus points. Blockchain shard in the, the dividends, the blockchain into several charge maintains by several nodes per chart, greatly reduces storage competitions and communications costs. Okay, so you also have HPOS consensus mechanism. Participating nodes are dividend into general user nodes, charts sequences, generation nodes, and chart sequence verification nodes. So basically, before we go to number three, I just wanted to show you guys that they were on Yahoo. If you do not know Yahoo, it's basically a, 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 a browse site, but they were on it. So the ANFS high performance blockchain consensus HPAOS launched to increase operational efficiency and scapability of blockchain networks and basically you can see here november 8 2021 and basically if you want to read all of this uh you and and you basically are interested into this token i would suggest to go into everything as they have valuable things but i'm just showing you guys this as they are not joking around they are actually coming for the metaverse so now number three eco and developer friendly connecting the new the next internet through the most reflectionary consensus and serverless applications cross domain futures. So now we are back into the white paper ANFS. Uh, so I just want to talk a little bit more about their mining consensus and basically give an explanation about them as I'm trying to learn this all myself as well. Uh, but it's a lot for my little brain to actually comprehend. But I'm just uh, bear with me as I'm trying to explain. But basically HPOS has higher level of security, scalability and data access compared to other ones uh, basically their notes as well are general user notes shard sequence generation notes shard sequence verification notes notes user viable random functions to select community notes and attain and consensus Thus, it's very decentralized no node will have to control power forever to decide blockchain transactions hackers won't know which node to attack to and is a constantly switching which i just like i said in the video as well like they have like notes that are constantly switching so hackers do not know which nodes to attack which makes this already a very very important implement into this project so i want to talk a little bit about bankia network so what is bankia network actually in depth bankia is a high performance web 3.0 blockchain platform bankia is a scalable smart contract platform powered by npos bft consensus algorithm it provides full capability to evm and has instant finality an experimental and innovative decentralized application network fully driven by its volunteers and community. It was developed in Java. Java is an industry and basically you can read uh, everything about them. I'm not going to read everything as this video will be way too long. But basically, Benkia is the trial net ANFS phrase and any project can test their use case here. Once tested and box solved can shift to ANFS mainnet which previous transactions and all intact. So it's kind of like Kasuma Network of Polkadot. And basically a lot of you guys know Polkadot as it is pretty popular nowadays. All projects launched on Bankia is actually collecting data and user base. Fundhouse will be seeking potential seed projects here too. So if this actually got you interested into this project, and I hope that I explained everything correct, uh, keep in mind I'm still sick, so my brain is not all here, but this is just such an awesome project, and this is way out of my league, but I'm still trying to explain everything as this can go really, really far. So this is actually a lot to take in, so I would suggest to read everything just through on your own time, and now we're basically going to the social media parts. Uh, basically, they have a Facebook, they also have a Discord, so if you want to check that out, I'm not on Facebook, uh, and I'm not really using Discord for that. So basically, they have a Twitter as well. They have 6,000 followers on here and 81 tweets. And basically, if you want to keep up to date with these guys, then basically follow their Twitter. And now we're going into their Telegram. So into their Telegram, they have over 13,000 members. And basically, everyone is talking uh, in this chat. And basically, if you want to be a part of this or you want to ask some questions, as this is a very, very difficult uh, project to actually understand for me it is okay if you guys have a easier time to understand then by all means but for me this is still very hard uh, but keep in mind I'm still sick but that's not an excuse so if you have any questions I would suggest to leave them down into the telegram uh, and I hope they get answered there's a lot of smart people
people in here as I saw. And now that is basically it for ANFS. So if you like what I do, if you enjoy what I do, and you would like to see more of these types of projects, if you want to see more types of token reviews, then hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the post notification so you stay up to date with the latest token reviews on my channel. With that all said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Peace out.